the wisdom that peruses every activity of God the wisdom that gives God his feedback the wisdom that delights the heart of the father it is this wisdom I'm presenting we understand how the words are chosen why because we are doers of the word we are masters of the word we are poets of the word I pray to God that your ministry will not be in the outer court but you will come into the place of the very presence of God but by reason of Christ who has opened the way we have free access to God and we are not afraid therefore he said come boldly before the throne of grace that you might find grace and help even in a time of need and most of us who think that prayer is a means of just taking something taking something we have never got to the place when we understand that prayer is work when we pray we work when we pray we when we pray we form when we create we make things happen and you know what in the secrecy of this work god rewards you okay now get set for the good word of god with pastor Obed. of it always a blessing so now with J and B came you see this was in 1827 now look at something that happened in 1830 another movement referred to as the Millerite movement of William Miller started what is referred to as the advent of christ please look at it 1827 jn now started dispensationalism futurism post-millennialism pre-trip tribulation pre-trip rapture rapture jn along with these guys were those who introduced rapture rapture was never in the church oh. Catholics don't preach rapture methodist rapture is not part if they have then they have borrowed derby that oh as i carry on you will see how there was a regression and a progression in all the churches only one movement affected all the charismatics it was only their movement that affected all so the catholics had charismatic charismatic baptist charis- <laughs> so charismatic catholic catholic charismatic charismatics everywhere the charismatics were now moving everywhere would we'll get to what happened in their day so now This was in 1830, William Miller. His emphasis was on the advent of Christ. And then watch this. You refer to them as Sabbatarians, but they don't see themselves like that. Having a Sabbath, SDA, seven-day Adventist, was an offshoot of William Miller. Their emphasis was on the advent of Christ. Christ is coming. The book of Daniel. The book of Daniel. The book of Daniel. Kingdom after kingdom. The book of Daniel. The book of Daniel. If you meet a small boy in Ezra, don't try him with the book of Daniel. Don't. Don't. And do you know what? When the Ezra, they look at the Pentecostals. They are funny to them. I remember one of my roommates. He was watching me. At that time, he didn't know how well versed I was in eschatological teaching. He said, you, you people, what do you know? You only make noise. And he said, what in the Bible do you know? I said, ah, why? He said, do you know the book of Daniel? <laughs> I just shook my head. I said, the book of Daniel. What is that about the book of Daniel? He said, what is the shalem? Then I shook my head. He said, ah, the head of gold, what is it? I said, ah, please ask some better question. Because the typical Pentecostal, if like go on the street and ask him, what is the Shalem? What does the head <laughs> of gold mean? The chest of silver. Is that the Holy Ghost? Has he got anything to do with the Holy Ghost? So an offshoot, this started in 1830. In 1863, please hear this. In 1863, the seven-day Adventist movement of Hiram Edson and an Ellen G. White now came in. They were an offshoot from William Miller. This happened in 1863. Then in 1872, 
Charles Russell of the Jehovah Witness Movement said that the end time is not about rapture, but the end time is about the millennium. So the Jehovah Witness Movement now started emphasizing millennialism. And they are millennialists. That is how come a typical Jehovah Witness in those days will be walking around, looking at all the nice houses and say that in the day of the advent, this will be my house. I'll be staying here. If you were media, if you car away, oh wait, mefa. This house is mine. This car is mine. Yes, you buy car away media of this particular because car. Because ni or ta ye no de be my All things will belong to Jesus, and when he's sharing his property, it's us who will be the inheritors of it. So now watch this. Around what time? 1830, William Miller. 1827, J. N. Darby. So the eschatological movements. When Pentecostals refer to JWs and SDAs as cult, listen, listen, Pentecostals. It was a movement. The emphasis in that day was that everybody was now concerned. Why? Because of the First World War. So now they knew that Christ is coming, Christ is coming, Christ is coming, Christ is coming, Christ is coming. They had just come out of war. Because one of the marks of the end time was war. You will hear of rumors of war. So everybody was now concerned. Ellen G. White, Hiram Exon, then now another group broke off as a result of Margaret Baba, who had a son referred to as Watchman Nee. He was greatly impacted by the Plymouth Brethren. How? Watchman Nee had an issue with his mother. And his mother went to a Plymouth Brethren meeting. And when the mother came back, the mother came, knelt down before Watchman Nee and asked Watchman Nee for forgiveness. And Watchman Nee wondered what at all had happened to the mother. That the mother had, because the mother was hard hearted. And seeing the tears and the plea for forgiveness, Watchman Nee's heart was moved. So in the next meeting of the Plymouth Brethren, now, what Mani wanted to find out what his mother had heard. So follow the mother to the meeting. And when he went to that meeting, they were funny to him when they were emphasizing new birth and the Christ and the light of heaven. After that meeting, what Mani went home and that night there was a wrestling. He could not overlook the things he had heard. So he gave in to the wrestling and instantly a light beamed into his heart where he felt the joy of the Holy Ghost. And knew it as the infilling of the Holy Ghost. And what Mani never spoke in tongues, and yet believed that he was filled with the Holy Ghost. It was under the inspiration of Madame Baba. Around the same time, in the Second Great Awakening, 1875. You have heard of Higher Life Conference, Higher Life Conference. Please, it didn't start with Christ's embassy. It started with Keswick. He is the one that emphasized the baptism of the, whole, the, baptism of the Holy Spirit for heart purity, the endowment of power. He said, baptism of the Holy Spirit is not only with heart purity, you must be endued with power for service. Now watch this. He now started saying that the first mark of missions is divine healing. Because that was part of the work of the atonement. It is from Keswick that we have shoots like A.B. Simpson and A.J. Gordon. They are these guys who claimed that for you to do the work of God, you must be endued with power. Holy Ghost must empower you. And empowerment is not only in talking about Holy Spirit, there must be endowment for service where people who are sick will get healed. So now this was now beginning the healing movement. That is about to hit us in 1948. This was started, and watch this. When people believed that when they get sick, they needed to get to a doctor these guys didn't believe that because they were living their higher life. They believed in divine healing. They were people of faith. 
Then now you begin to understand Pastor Chris's higher life conferences. The things that Pastor Chris was emphasizing in that movement. I mean Pastor Chris Oyakilome. From 1875 came the classical Pentecostal movement in the 20th century, in 1901. They now stood for sinless perfection, the second blessing of the Holy Spirit, for the endowment of power, and the third blessing of the baptism of fire with speaking in other tongues. And they, watch this, did not believe in pre-tribulational rapture, they believed in pre-millennial rapture. If somebody claims he has a true gospel, ask him what will happen in the end time. He should tell us his eschatology. He should tell us. Then the person will tell you that, um, how do we call it, um, a, a court must believe in appearing before the judgment seat of Christ. Who doesn't believe that? Who doesn't believe that? You see, when you say that, you haven't said anything. We now have to find out the details of what you believe. At what time? When? Where? How? Tell us. Who started this? I love him so much. Charles Fox, Paham. He started with a small group of people, Bible students. He was just teaching them. Then William Seymour was his student. 1906. Thomas Ball Barrett was a student. What they did was they retained their Methodist, Methodist teaching and added Pentecostal flavor and experience to it. So now, Methodist sinless perfection, Methodist inward purity. Then now they moved on. The second blessing of the Holy Ghost and the third blessing of the Holy Ghost. Hmm. People like C.H. Mason from the Baptist movement joined in. N.J. Holmes from the Presbyterian movement joined in. But their leader was Charles Fox Parham. He started the Pentecostal movement. In 1906, in African Methodist Episcopal Church, William Seymour was having a meeting. And in that meeting, they held it at Azusa. And as they were praying, they were now waiting for the third experience, not born again, not inner purity or sinless perfection. They were waiting for the endowment of power and for the Holy Ghost baptism of fire, then do you know what happened? Their roof caught fire. And yet, the place where they were was not consumed. William Seymour. There's, listen, there's never, people hear me, there's never been any movement like William Seymour's movement. They started assemblies. And with this movement, they held three services every day for seven days for 52 weeks. Every day, they had three church services for seven days. They don't come to church on Sunday and go like the way you do. Morning service, first service, second service, third service. So if you realize, when you go to America, a lot of the reformed churches, they do morning service and evening service. But William Seymour, they were having morning, afternoon, and evening. Morning, afternoon, and evening. Morning, afternoon, and evening. Seven days a week. And people were coming in their thousands. They were sitting 20,000. People were traveling. It is actually said that the maker of Christianity had their leader as William Seymour. People traveled from far and wide to come and experience the Holy Ghost baptism of fire.
Now you will begin to understand what happened at Mankesim in the church of Pentecost when their roof caught fire. William Seymour, please get this, was a black American. And what this? AME, African Methodist Episcopal. These were a people that were blacks and believed in Methodism, but not the way the whites were doing it. Within this movement, there came a divide. And the divide is there till now. They referred to themselves as Pentecostals. They all believed in the Holy Spirit. Their problem was this. Whether Jesus Christ is God. Together in equality with the Father or not. And now, the Trinitarians said that. So now when you hear somebody talking. And they say, how can you say that Jesus is less than the Father? No, don't worry about it. Do you know why? Because they believe that the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, his name is Jesus. So one God, one person, Jesus Christ. But that creates your logical problems. The day Jesus died. God died. Or God didn't die. That's the question. There are more serious questions about that. So the Trinitarian Pentecostals, they don't see Jesus Christ as only the Son of God. Anybody who debates this, I'm not talking about the Reformed theology of the Trinitarian Gospel. I'm talking about what they stood for. In classical Pentecostalism, and their basis was on Matthew 28, 19 to 20, and Acts 2, verse 38. Jesus said, you should baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And in Acts 2, 28, they were baptizing them in the name of Jesus. Then they equated it. The name of the Father, the name of the Son, and the name of the Holy Spirit is Jesus. So now, do you know how they refer to themselves? The Trinitarians refer to themselves as Pentecostal Evangelicals. Then the Unitarians were seen. The Unitarians, they don't believe that there is God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. No, no, no. They believe it is one person that is manifesting himself. There is one God. Then within that faith, there are also divisions. The Father is not the Son. The Son is not the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is not the Son, and the Holy Spirit is not the Father. And Jesus Christ is the Son. Jesus is not the Holy Spirit, and Jesus is not the Father. We have not spoken about what we say. We need to know the history. So the non-Pentecostal evangelicals, watch this. They refer to the Pentecostal evangelicals as fanatics and they were a menace. They make noise. When you begin to ask them questions, they can't answer. They were just fanatics. And they were the loudest in the Holy Ghost movement. Then there came one guy. His name is C.I. Scofield in 1914. He is the one who rose up to fight the Pentecostal movement. And he is the one that propounded, hear this, the sensational movement of charismata. That there is no charismatic gift any longer. The charismatic gifts ended with the apostles. There are people who are reading C.I. Scuffle. They don't know what he stands for. C.I. Scuffle didn't believe in miracles. And there are people today, when I hear them, they will quote John MacArthur. They don't know who John MacArthur is. He is of the stock of C.I. Scofield. There is no charismata. It ended with the apostles. Hank Hanegraaff. They were all these people in that movement. So churches like Spoken Word, they don't believe in three gods in one. No. When you listen to Abraham, now then they bastardized Abraham because Abraham was trying to explain that Adam and Eve, the apple that they ate, was sex. Ah! How can you say that? How can you say that? They bastardized them. 
and the spoken word people were strong with what they stood for. Just a few <laughs> months ago, one man of God in Nigeria said something. Then another man of God, who is an offshoot of William Branham, the bride, ah, he took him on. He mashed him like pepper. Listen, if you are in your small corner, you think that what you are saying and your followers are just following you and, um, how do you call it, sounding your trumpet, you are the owner of the world. No, no, no. There are serious divisions in Christianity. In 1948, so we are moving forward, came the latter rain movement. Their emphasis was on charismatic renewal and spiritual movement, an offshoot of the Pentecostal movement with emphasis, watch this, of Holy Spirit, spiritual gifts, and miracles. They were not looking at divine healing as a work of the atonement. No, no, no. Beyond that, they were now seeing that they were healers. So it is not Christ that is only the healer. Christ the healer has sent his healers. So those are the books you have been reading, God's generals. Catherine Coleman. Ora Roberts. Maurice Cerullo. The Voices of Hope. So you see that this swept all the way from 1948 and gained momentum in 1960. And it went as far back to affect the Catholics, the Evangelicals, the Pentecostals. Why? Because they were the American stock with style. They had style. They were vibrant preachers. And for them, prayer was not a private conversation with God. And healings had to be testified to, like the way we do here. You were not to hide your healing. They emphasized that testimonies kept your miracle. Pastors who would want to put their work on display for others to see. They believe Jesus is the healer, but they have been anointed by Jesus to heal. And that, if you prayed for the sick and they didn't recover, it is not the fault of Jesus. It is your lack of anointing. They actually believe that they had virtue with premonitional signs like Ora Robert. He will wait till he feels the fire in his palms. Then he knows that the anointing has come before you come and preach. Else he won't preach. You will sing and sing and sing and wait for him. He's not coming now. In the meeting. We are all singing. We know that we are waiting for the Holy Spirit to come on the man of God. We are here waiting for the man of God. We are singing and praising God. The moment the man of God walks in, the anointing is here. Hey! Abba, Abba, Mama Yanko, Mama Yanko. You don't talk to the man of God when he's in that state. No. He's waiting on God. They are not part of the service. No, the people, listen, he, he's not here for the service. He is the service that people have come to. So he's not supposed to come in and dance around. No, he's waiting on the virtue. He's in the waiting. When he senses the surging of the Holy Ghost, then he walks in. And his presence will shift the atmosphere. The people know that the power has come. And they know that if nothing happens, something will happen. They are not people who will just anoint you and leave you. No. When they anoint you and you are not getting up, they will shake you and lift you up and throw you. You must get up and walk. Hey, hey, Alan. Don't try, hey, Alan. He will give you a punch. Smith Wiggles' word. Or she was some cratchit. They will heal in an hour. Smith Wiggles' word. 
will just give you a slap across Pam, your face. Receive it in the name of Give Jesus. you the petition of grace. You'll be well. Jacob. Hey. The latter rain movement. Ora Roberts. Benny Hinn. Benson Idahosa. Mm. Chris Oyakilome. Duncan Williams. All of those people. Latter rain movement. It moved all the way to 1990. When something began from Ghana. Listen, if you have been following the story, watch this. The thing started from Asia, Eastern Orthodox. Then it jumped all the way. But truly, we are talking about the inception was in Jerusalem with Christ, ended up in Europe with the Catholics, jumped back to the Eastern Orthodox Church, then went to America. Then after America, the thing entered Africa. When it entered Africa, Idahosa was the one that brought the spark of the fire. But his was not a, a new movement. It was actually the word of faith movement from America that he brought. That is the reason why Idahosa was not joking with America at all. America was his second hope. Duncan Williams, Charles Ajinasari. They, now, that season, eh, if you're a man of God and you are vibrant and you are young, it must be because you were coming from Nigeria. Or you were coming from Ora Roberts. Two places. So watch this. When the movement started, men like Pastor Chris, they were with Benson Idahosa. As they were following and following, then they went to America to be with Kenneth Hagin. That was the movement. So if you want to start today, Charismatics, Oyedepo, Kenneth Hagin, everybody, you must go there. After that way, what happened? People don't want to agree. In the year 1990, men like Owusu Bempa, the prophet. Sali Fuamwako. Orion Cinema. Now to me ako. Aboma, Ghana has started the first movement to capacity. So for Shankom, Shankom, one Shankom, I come back here. Shankom, Shankom. If you don't prophesy, we will be hungry today. Yeah, by a pretty 15 minutes. When we come, we just give a 15 minute exhortation. And that is where we will delve into the spiritual works. Any man of God that denies that the prophetic started with Ghana is in denial of the fact. We are not talking about one gift. Listen, we are not talking about somebody manifesting one gift somewhere. We are talking about a movement. Ah. Ghana. Now the churches were springing up everywhere. Deliverance. Prayers. Prophetic. Prayer comes. Ah. Everywhere. Schools. Parks. The thing was moving here. When you hear the Americans prophesying in the light of Ghana prophecy, you will know that America the ending yet. When you do the comparatives, you know I, that the I American see the prophecy. Lord prospering you. Say, yeah, the spirit of the Lord is going to be well with you in the coming year. That depression that you are in, Holy Ghost is going to heal you. Ghana, a dear, dear, dear depression. Your father's name is Owusu, true or false? <laughs> ah, your, your telephone number, 024. Ah, I'm here, Pejami. And I've entered the spirit room. room. I'm in the clouds. Ah, me do, baby. I have got it to a certain point. I have heard a certain city called Yamfi. Where are Ufri you from? Shit. And come, shit. A movement. 
It was the prophet as a movement. Have I, have I had a conversation Why with you? Have you told that? me anything prior to this time? Men like Opokunsi. Huh? Men like. Charlie. There is a history. Oh. How Ghana came in, we don't understand. We can't explain. But we were in. <laughs> Till date. All the American preachers, they know. If you are a Ghanaian preacher and you are invited to preach in America and you don't prophesy, they'll be shocked. Are you sure you are from Ghana? It was a movement. It is actually known. And that fallacy sometimes, <laughs> I heard a couple of prophets in Nigeria and in South Africa saying it, that in the streets of Ghana, the average Ghanaian is a seer. <laughs> the first time I heard, I heard one Nigerian preacher say that they were allowed. I said, hey, you people, you can hide Ghana. It is known that in the streets of Ghana, everybody can see. So you don't need to, as you are going right now, somebody can, mommy, but I'm casting you. KJT. Mommy. Someone just calls you out of the blue, sir. I was just passing by and I saw something concerning you. And what? this is in the public square. The what kind square. Of your, friend, Amano, Amano. your firstborn that is called Ama. Give attention to that. Because I'm seeing that witchcraft entities from your family want to cut you. Do you want me to help you? I am having my chance to be satisfied. When you come to church, remind me that I met you at the public center, at the public square, and I prophesy to you concerning this. Join me in my church, which is close by. When the prophetic started, it didn't start with similitudes and tokens. It was raw. Then I preku my daughter. And I saw my The church service we are having today. And Central Miracles and wonders will happen. And if I have any better, the blind will see. The, the cripple will rise up and However, when you are coming, come with lime, come with orange. I will undertake a direction. And when I'm done, when you take it away, I'll show you what to do with it. Go and bring testimony. At that point, it will overwhelm the understanding. Joshua J. Mamra ni amampaye. Come let us pray. Koko no Joshua J. Wantongo. Muntie Wantong. Understand that the man of God did not sell the porridge. Am I fasting? They had a fasting. Ah, yeah, bampaye. And was engaged in prayer. Am I bampaye, bampaye, bampaye? We are no. When they were done with the prayer time. Joshua J. Ne can ni koko ene chema sorry mano. It was the prophet that prepared his porridge and shared it for the. Now mudi koko ni we are no. And whilst they were done, and said, Jenny, they be free. Now, said, Jenny, or Sana Coconi, and the Afe, a beton. So it was subsequent to this that he knew that. But the economy of the chairman, Zizia, the Oba, someone who will be a cause, and will be uncle Coconi, and had to be monetized. Eh, Nagane, so a Buddha Musio. Then came another great prophet. Who came with a token <laughs> of well water? Saying that when you're coming for the service, come with a gallon, an empty gallon. <laughs> and come and fetch some of <laughs> the well water. <laughs> Whoever takes that well water would be made well. <laughs> I am not selling the water. <laughs> However, if you want to come and see me on one, <laughs> on one <laughs> you must give an offering. <laughs> At that point, there was a loud public outcry that the pastors. <laughs> and then came another prophet who rose, <laughs> operating in angelic dimensions. As of one kuto, hey, now for the church, and now you say, what you say? Some were using handkerchiefs, some were using water, some were using pomade, some were using shea butter. And this was the wonder of it. I won't mention the name of the person. The person is actually 
on the road to Kumasi. Now, if you, if you pick up pebbles, some, some, when the person tells you that pick up a stone or pebble from the ground, after prayer, if the person tells you to, this prophet tells you to cast it. By the time you get home, whoever is there, there was another prophet who came up. His, hey! his similitude was that fire the gun. Ghana for TV that. The Ghanaian nation said, We have not heard of this before. We should understand that great men. Look at where things started from. Doctrine who here? Teach you all the name. You be can you depart and sorry. When this generation and this man came, ye me and she. They said, "Doctrine is not of the essence. What mattered show working, show was that working. a person was showing proofs of divine ability." And God for anti crime. We should understand that great men. Mon je bebi ye free. Look at where things started from. A true and God for we should not say doctrine who here. Teach you all the name. When this generation and this man came, they said, doctrine is not of the essence. What mattered show working, show was that working. a person was showing proofs of divine ability. And yet, doctrine, doctrine, Sam. It was not about open here it's and open there. The, it's not about Hebrew and Hebrew. It's not about Hebrew. It was about raw power. Raw power. Afedye. Na papa be sorry wa Ghana. Ne kasa aboko. Sit a man arose in this nation. O kasa na dwimu do. Speaks calmly. Ni din di otabo. With deep inside called Nenso. O bua o be hwet TV no. Whether you wanted it or not. Onye nsa njere ni o. He captured the attention of the entire nation. He was now a state man. O bia teacher like no other. O tabo the teacher. Doctor Otabo, Doctor Otabo, motivational speaker. Or can Kronumunsem or Tufu or Tretre, Ninti so Kueguma, Ninti and Isamoko prayer camp. So, sir, move nearby and now, Pedia. You know, you know what happened with the Pentecostal movement. I told you already three times a day, seven days a week. They were always going to church, going to church, going to church. So now there had to be another reformer who now speak, go to work, not to church. Afternoon time, lunch hour, you don't go. You know, you must be at work. Bank of your mom, call a more people of a consumed pipe on a Yabozo came for me. A friend, Zian, yeah, 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 Jumani, I have to hear so many as here, Cobon Pie, Jaya, my mom Pie. And you are buying my for. Hey, no, you see, if you are there and you are selling and, and you are there praying and somebody comes and your store is closed, now you have that partner who has opened his store. Share. Only partner say, Me to store your nuffity and opera. The person is saying that I've been at this shop from morning till evening. I made little sales, but the moment I went to that prayer camp and took the token that was offered to me, look at how things have turned around in my business. Can you imagine? Finally, the Eastern Orthodox Church said, Latin is not heaven's language. Everybody's language, God can hear it. So we shouldn't use Latin for liturgy. We should use the native language of the people. The Catholic said, no. We are the Roman Catholic Church. When you go to Rome, when you go to Rome, today, before I talk about the second matter, I have shown you your history. I have not told you what we stand for. But those of you that have been here for long, you realize that as we are going through, wake akra, wake akra. As we wish it. You can see that we have strings, we have treats, various rules of God that have happened prior to this time. Sanctification kakra. No, what, what done, what done, uh, I, yes, you hear a movement. 
That's how it ought to be. We on the Asia, yes, so you see here your movement. Some have come to labor and they are gone. Amu amu gua amu we, amu gua amu so amu we. Inti yeni na ebe we mon kani amope mi guswa waha. Me we ye ye die. So long as I'm not dead, I'll me. keep on speaking. Me I can't die. I will not stop speaking. Da. And now tell me about who say. Me kasen tia Catholic. If you listen to me carefully, you notice that I don't speak against the Catholic. And I'm cassette ya or so pa. Yet. Men cassette ya methodist. Men cassette ya or mopa. Men cassette ya assembly. Cassette ya or mopa. Cassette ya painting. Cassette ya or mopa. Only me and you. Do you know why I speak against? It's because me to me bo. Because I carefully. Efania will be a. Pick up all that everyone will sing. And I'm far to the conkron. And I align it with the scriptures. And so when I pick what this person is saying, I enter into prayer with it. Ask of the Lord to open up the scriptures to me. That which I don't see. I am taken out of my body into the heavens, and I am shown it. And I come onto earth to speak. So if you don't. <laughs> If you don't agree or if you don't understand that my spirit is captured out of my body in an out of me body, me see you, see me clan coco tre me. you can die. Yeah. Your soul is your cat missing? Your cat missing? <laughs> no. Senya me cano. Only me nya dreya. Paul say. Kobi say radi. Just as Paul said, if you don't agree with me. And me tre tre wa dreya kase me ti. If you have any opinion shared, I'm also sharing my take on it. Those who are giving it, as they listen to it, the they will receive it. You are not the one to tell someone. And what asks me is that you are ignorant and again, you are being done. You are actually a little child. I have no time. I'm focusing on the assignment I'll be giving. Can you imagine? I'm on a page of an old school page of evangelicals. They got my videos and they took me off. I said, me? I've never been an evangelical even when I was in your midst. I was never an evangelical. It was interdenominational, non-denominational, and we were not supposed to talk about what divided us. If I tried to talk about it then, it would have divided us. Because I was in a system, I kept quiet. And we were in school, and I wanted to understand you guys. I am not an evangelical. Don't try to bring 1054. 10 1054. <laughs> 10 oh, time. <laughs> 1054. I am saying something in 2022, and you want to use 1054 to judge it. Please, if I say something you don't agree, open your Bible. Show from Scripture what is not so. Don't be sentimental. And don't attack personally. You can pick any of our videos and say whatever you want to say about it. But don't say Pastor bed is dangerous. And that I should be avoided. I forgive you. Because of the love of God in my heart. May they are chill. <laughs> Any questions so far? Any questions so far? Who has a baby, a baby, sir? And now we history in the NASA. Pastor Obed, always a blessing.